What is going on a YouTube Black Bigelow here today and I want to talk about the curious relationship that has been displayed on YouTube to me between a couple of young married people I uh, believe their name is Lauren and Sabia uh, since these are two girl names uh, I'm gonna tell you that Lauren is actually the guy I guess Lauren is a uh, one of those Asexual names? I don't know. Anyways. So this couple is very curious to me because of the following. So back in September of 2019, Lauren, the guy, was working on a construction site. Now, different articles say slightly different things, but basically what happened was he was operating a forklift on a bridge that they were building somewhere in Montana, I believe. This guy on the forklift was trying to, I guess, veer away from traffic, something like that, and he fell with the forklift down 50 feet. He hit the ground, the forklift landed on top of him. This guy is alive and conscious during all of the accident. Immediately, he sees that his right arm, I, I use the word exploded. So this guy loses his right arm and he can see his lower body is absolutely crushed. Eventually, they get the forklift off of him. They take him to the hospital. They notify his parents. They notify his girlfriend, Sabia, or is it Sabia? I don't know how to pronounce her name correctly. I think her name rhymes with Mabia. I'm not sure. They notify his girlfriend, they come to the hospital, and the doctors tell his parents, yeah, he's gonna die. Unless we do a very extreme surgery. They tell his parents, and they tell him, he will die unless they amputate his lower body. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I, I give this kid credit. If, if he were anybody else, I think they would've just said to pull the fucking plug. <clears throat> I, I, I think I would've just said, you know what, I had a good life, I'm done. I'm not gonna live like that. But, to his credit, he said go for it. So they amputated his whole body. I'm, I'm telling from the, from the, from the belly button down, everything is gone. His arm is gone, his, his everything is gone. And miraculously, this kid survived this accident. And they made a YouTube channel documenting their, uh, their journey through you know life with their relationship. Now, this is a real relationship. Unlike Squirmy and Grubs, which is not a real relationship, they're not really in love. They love each other. They're not in love with each other. That's the difference between a bonded relationship and a scam. I'm going to say this. They, I believe, just got married this year. I, I think they're like 21 and 20 or 22 and 21. They're very, very young. Listen, I give the girl all the kudos in the world. She could have, you know, she thought he was going to die. She she even told him like a couple times, I love you, goodbye. I She could have easily walked away from him, right? I don't, I can't say most women would because more women are way more accepting of a guy's flaws than men are. Men would be like, ew. If, can you imagine a guy? Can you imagine if that would have been reversed and and the guy's like, what? Uh, you know what I mean? Because we're, we're assholes. Hey, you're pretty cute. Snob. Hey, making eye contact with me, bitch. So, here's my opinion about this. God bless her. God bless him. I, I hope that somehow they lead a normal life. And uh, by all intents and purposes, 
they got the YouTube going. They're making some decent coin. I'm sure he gets a disability check. I'm sure she does not have to work. I'm going to say this. As I pause the video because of these stupid sirens, I am in New Jersey. As I was saying, I'm sure she doesn't have to work. I'm, I'm assuming her job is, you know, helping to take care of Lord, which is a man's name, apparently, and his needs. Here's the truth. You really have to ask yourself. You're a 20-year-old, 21-year-old woman. You're, ba you, you're barely, you're a baby. You got your whole freaking life ahead of you. How long can she keep that up? Is my question. I don't question her love for him. I believe they were together for at least uh, what a year, a year and a half before the accident. So they're, you know, they're bonded. They're married. I guess that's what it said online. They were married. How many years can that relationship, that marriage, whatever? How many years can that go on for? What I'm saying is, how long can she go with I'm I don't mean to disparage him. This channel is not about me talking down about people, and we all know this. I mean, after all, I'm homeless over here. See, last night I was homeless over there, and right now I'm homeless and I'm over here. How long can she do this is my question you're gonna want babies okay apparently there's a lot of people that want babies you're gonna want uh, uh, man I I, I, yeah, I feel like I'm talking down to homeboy but hey most women want a man I'm not saying that guy's not a man but I'm also saying that most women want a man that can, you know, fix things around the house, uh, kick somebody's ass if they stare uh, at your butt too long. Uh, they want to be, they want to be thrown down and 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 made uh, love to. Sometimes they want to be thrown down and banged out hardcore, like a like a 1979 uh, evil porno flick that was filmed in somebody's basement. You know what I'm saying? And that's the, it's things like that. When a woman feels protected, when a woman when a woman feels loved, and when a woman feels um, desired, that is aspects of what it is to be a woman. And I'm not saying that a woman can't get past that and and just love a man. Like I said, only a woman could be with a person like. And they suffer a horrific injury like that. A, a you know, a, a life altering injury and still be with them. I, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that they're gonna get a divorce. I'm not saying that she'll leave them. Uh, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that she won't uh, go bang another guy though. Uh, that's the thing, uh, they, they gotta talk about that. There, there's, there, they, Stupid Cyrus, can you shut up? I'm trying to make this video. That's why I don't do a lot of these videos like uh, like I should, because I, it's just nonsense. Pause the video again. Like I was saying, you're going to have a very interesting or odd conversation. And that conversation is going to be sex. She got laid... Uh, maybe the day before his accident, two days before the accident, and you know he dicked her down great, and that's not happening anymore. Now you have toys that you can use. You he still you know you can perform oral fingers. He, he still has his other hand, but there's gonna be a, a there's gonna come a time, and I already know this for a fact, and. These two, I know, I know, I know they're gonna be watching this video eventually. And there's gonna come a time, Lauren, that's the guy, by the way, guys. That Lauren is the guy. Xavier is the girl. Lauren is also a guy's name. 
there's gonna come a conversation, Lauren, where you tell your wife, you're gonna say, hey, listen, if you wanna step out for a night of, you know, uh, like intimacy with another man, that's okay with me. And you're gonna tell her that, you know why? Because you love her. And not to make it seem like it's creepy or it's weird or whatnot, but you are going to tell her this. She's not gonna take the offer at first. It's gonna be a no. But as time progresses, she becomes 23, 24, 25, and guess what happens after 29? Yes, a woman enters her dirty 30s, and it's on. That's when a woman is at her sexual peak, uh, supposedly. Um, I don't really buy that, but um, I don't know. Don't forget about the filthy 40s and the straight whore 50s. Eventually, she's going to say, you know what? She's going to she's gonna do it. And it's not going to be cheating because he's cool with it. As a matter of fact, he, want, he might want to watch. And as a matter of fact, they... They might want me involved. And just to let you know, A, I am available, Sabia, the girl Sabia. I am available. 972-765-8972. 972-765-8972. And listen, I'm offering my services but, you know, they're not going to be available forever because eventually, hopefully down the road, you know, maybe I'll get married. Maybe I'll uh, get involved in a relationship. You know, probably never going to happen, but you never know. So time is fleeting, you know. So you may want to jump on this offer as quickly as you can. And I, I wish those two all the best. They're going to have some rough patches in their lives but uh, thankfully because of them making a decent living off of YouTube I'm, I'm, I'm sure they don't make like a crazy living but I, I'm pretty sure it's enough to take care of them for the foreseeable future uh, the offer still stands whenever you want and I wish the best for both of you uh, difficult situation um, but hey um, good luck with everything and and uh, that's pretty much my take on it. Uh, so anyways, I, I gotta go. This video is way too long. And uh, this, this woman looked at me uh, twice. I think she uh, wants to uh, get me to go talk to her. Uh, she, she, she's not attractive whatsoever. <laughs> but I never let that stop me, right?